Praise the Lord. Good morning, church. I thank God for today. The Lord Jesus has continued to be the Lord of my soul, and I rejoice in His salvation. Today is Sunday after a session. We celebrated a session day on last Thursday. And that's why today is Sunday after a session. After Jesus' resurrection, he stayed with his disciples for 40 days. He did not ascend to heaven immediately. And that's uh, why we say the session day is after 40 days of resurrection. And then the Pentecost comes. 10 days after a session day. So next Sunday is Pentecost Sunday, which comes 10 days after a session and 50 days after a resurrection. When I yes, we are We are going to read today from the book of Acts, chapter 1, beginning to read at verse 6. Acts chapter 1, beginning to read at verse 6. I will read the word of God. So when they met together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, It is not to you for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by his own authority but you receive power when the holy spirit comes on you and you be my witnesses in jerusalem and in all judea and samaria and to the ends of the earth and in all sorry and in all judea and samaria and to the ends of the earth after he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a crowd hid him from their sight. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the hill called the Mount of Olives, a Sabbath day walk from the city. When they arrived, they went upstairs to the room where they were staying. Those present were Peter, John, James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zerot, and Judas son of James. They all joined together, constantly in prayer, along with the women, and Mary the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. This is the word of the Lord. Let us pray. We thank you for your word. We pray that you speak to us to encourage us, to teach us your ways, and to strengthen our faith in you. Speak through me to bless all of us. For this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. From this text, we hear the way Jesus parted with his disciples. But before he parted, before he ascended, they had a conversation. And during the years of Jesus' ministry on earth, the disciples continually wondered about his kingdom. 
when it would come, what would be their role in this kingdom. And that's why they asked Jesus in verse 6, Lord, they asked him in verse 6, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? Why did they ask this question? Because in their traditional view, the Messiah would be an earthly conqueror who would free Israel from Rome. But Jesus explained in Luke chapter 17 verse 21 that his kingdom is a spiritual kingdom established in the hearts of believers but not another kingdom with geographical boundaries. This kingdom begins with the work of the Holy Spirit in people's lives and in relationships. And that's why Jesus is telling his disciples that you are going to be my witnesses through the power of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, we should not look at the institutions and the buildings or programs as evidence of the progress of God's kingdom, but instead we should look for what God is doing in people's hearts and lives. God's presence and power dwell in believers in the person of the Holy Spirit. The kingdom of God is continuing in the hearts of believers and that's why we should continue to witness the presence, the goodness, the love of God even at a time like now. Like the Jews, the disciples suffered under the, the Roman rulers and so they wanted Jesus to free Israel from the Roman power and make him their king. Therefore, that is why they gained the courage to ask him because they had seen that though our Savior had died, he has resurrected. There is some hope. So he can restore the kingdom. He can be our king so that we may stop suffering. And so they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? Has the time come for you to free Israel and restore our kingdom? But Jesus replied to them, It is not for you to know the times and dates the Father has set by his own authority. He told them that God set the timetable for all events, worldwide, national, and also for individual persons. And when he told them that, he told them, God has a, a program. God has a plan. Yes, just relax. Wait. Don't bother about whether it is now. But the work is still continuing. Their interest was for Jesus to be their king. Their problem was how they will participate in this kingdom and what would be, would be their role. And Jesus made it clear to them that you are part of this kingdom. You are participants of this kingdom. You will be my witnesses. But it is until the Holy Spirit comes that you will be able to witness about the kingdom of God. He told them they witness through the power of the Holy Spirit who will give them courage, who will give them boldness, who will give them confidence, insight and ability and also authority to witness. There is nothing we can do for God. Witnessing is not uh, showing what we can do for God. Witnessing is showing what God has done for us. When I yes, was few. Do you have a testimony of what God has done for you? 
during this time of corona virus do you have a testimony are you able to witness of what god is doing in your life in your society in your family at this time jesus told his disciples that there is a timetable set there is a plan set and god has authority over that plan and therefore he told them wait and it is after that he ascended to heaven at their own eyes and they were left looking up until he disappeared completely jesus had to ascend in the presence of the disciples so that their testimony can be complete they saw his ministry they participated in his ministry of healing and teaching they participated in his when they they witnessed his suffering and his death and his resurrection and so they had to witness his ascension so that as they wait for him they know that his home was heaven and not on this and and it is at that point the angels found the disciples staring at heaven at the disappearance of the, at the ascending of Jesus and asked them men of galilee why are you looking up to heaven the angels were telling them Jesus has completed his work what are you doing he has told you to wait for the holy spirit you cannot wait when you are idle you can wait when you are doing something and at that point the disciples returned to Jerusalem they gathered in fellowship they gathered in prayer as they waited for the holy spirit what can we learn from this text that god has plan god has a timetable god has authority over every event So what is required of us to go to God like the disciples and ask him when how are we going to do it when is it going to happen what is our law how are we going to do it the disciples asked Jesus Jesus responded to them and showed them the direction and gave them the instruction to wait for the holy spirit of God Do you have any question about your life about your family about your business about the nation all of us are asking when will corona end when will we come back for corporate worship let us ask god when god as we ask him because we have known him is the one who has the plan and the timetable let us trust in his doing because he is at work let us trust in him as he carry out his plan in us as he says in jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 i know the plans i have for you not plans for evil but for welfare to give you a future and a hope let us wait patiently for god let us not be impatient Patience is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. Let us ask God to give us patience as we wait for him. As we wait for God, what should we be doing? Like the disciples, we should be in prayer. Like the disciples, we should be leading the word of God to understand his mission and his purpose for us. As the disciples, we should be united as believers. Are you going to be present in the fellowship of believers? as they intercede for the nation as they intercede for their families as they intercede for their personal issues the bible is saying in verse 14 they all joined together constantly in prayer along with the women the uh, verse that in says these are the ones who are present are you going to be saved to be present in the work of god in the mission in the witnessing in waiting upon God may the lord help us to trust in him to wait upon him 
to pray to him and more so to seek to know his plan and his timing for our lives in the name of God the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.